Good morning, everyone. My name is Hany Mbana. I'm the president of HSE, a product controls consultant. Um, the reason I wanted to uh, discuss this topic today is because um, a lot of our clients ask us about uh, why uh, scheduling is unique for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and what's the difference between typical schedule and scheduling for this particular owner. So in HSE, we've worked on over 35 different contracts for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and, uh, and we understand that the requirements are very specific and they're usually adamant about making sure that contractors meet the requirements. So for example, one of the things that we've always noticed is that um, nine out of 10 times, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers require schedules that are resource loaded and are cost loaded. And in order for you to do so, you have to understand how you would eventually review those schedules. So the schedules have to be imported into QCS and RMS system. QCS stands for Quality Control System and RMS stands for Resident Management System. And those are systems that are designed specifically for the Army Corps of Engineers. So basically after we create the schedule and after we develop the schedule, then we have to uh, create um, a file called SDEF file. And that SDEF file is the only way for any Army Corps of Engineers officer to be able to import that schedule into the system. So that's one thing that's very unique. Second thing that's unique about the US Army Corps of Engineers schedules is that they require that you cost load them by the CLIN. And every contract has multiple CLIN numbers. So CLIN stands for contract line items. And the, the hint that we've learned over the years is that it's very important for you to Keep that in mind before you build the schedule that you are going to cost load it so you can set up the schedule in a way that it can be easily cost loaded so you can find how you're going to distribute the money among the activities because ultimately the total of each clin had to add up to what the total of the clin is on the bid items so at the end of the day um, the cost loading will add up to the total contract amount and that's how you make sure that the u.s army Corps of engineers will approve your schedules and the process will go smoothly. Uh, should you need any help, please feel free to visit the HSE uh, website at www.hsecontractors.com. Thanks.